Good day trader Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading and today we're going to talk about uh, a couple of key points that are critical I think no matter what markets you're trading and uh, what time frame you're trading and that is again we're going to go over opening ranges and initial balance and the second part of that is um, markets that are in balance and out of balance but we'll just touch on this uh, out of balance uh, explanation first. If you've read Dalton's book um, Market on Market Profile, one of the things they talk about is uh, identifying a day that's gone out of balance or potentially may go out of balance. And out of balance, what they're referring to is uh, when a market closes outside of a previous day's range. So in this particular case, uh, we're looking at the British pound and last week on the Tuesday the market uh, the bullish move upwards and closed outside of the previous day's high and at that point a market is um, out of the range of the previous day and it has the highest potential for a high probability uh, movement on that day and the reason why sometimes that can happen is that the market is obviously seeking value. Now, how does that relate to you and I as forex traders? Now, these on this particular chart, we're looking at the end of day, and we're looking at these uh, lines are the period separators. One of the things that um, we can look at in going back to our premise with the initial balance or the first couple of uh, sessions in a in any given um, time frame. So in this particular case, if we're looking at the monthly uh, movement of the daily charts, we're looking at the first couple of days of the of the market to give us a, a, uh, an idea of potentially where that market may be going. So again, you know, in this particular case, for the first half of the month, the first two days were the high of the first half of the month. In actual, in actuality, even though the market has wicks above there, the first day high of the month tended to act as a, a selling area as it did into the following month now this uh, obviously with brexit recently we we've, this this market possibly there's a uh, you know lots of other factors coming into the market with some uncertainty but just go back and test this yourself but my point with this is that if we look at the Monday to Friday rotation and <clears throat> what we're looking for is the market was out of balance short it's come back into balance just prior to the opening range of the market and back in balance means that the market is now closing inside of previous sessions highs and lows so we've had a consolidation the market's caught its breath and then again it's broken out so my point with this is that when you have some high probability time frames so such as the beginning of the month the uh, beginning of the week, uh, that type of thing, even uh, during the day, uh, the beginning of London, for example, or the beginning of New York, which we'll look at in a second, um, there's a high probability that you want to be able to identify where the market has already uh, moved out of balance, and if it's out of balance, where it's potentially, if it comes back into balance, where there may be a bias to you taking a low risk position in the direction of the market's uh, future movement. So again we've got our initial balance here the first couple days of the month of July, sorry August. So when we had that third day present, um, so this is a Monday, Tuesday and a Wednesday, the market was, you know, we've been attempting to go shorter, it's rallied, a bullish rally, failed to get very high, it's broken out again short, pulled back, broke down again, tried to go lower, was unable to, broke out bullish, pulled back, another attempt to go bullish, a weaker bearish pullback, and then a final breakout. Now, when we see this bar present the small bear bar on the Wednesday, indeed, is this a pullback or is this a potential reversal? Now, one way to, some traders will, uh, try not to predict the movement of the market but they will position themselves with a breakout order on either side now in this particular case because we did have 
uh, an initial balance show up, but we also did have selling coming in previously at that level, traders could confidently uh, be willing to sell that market <clears throat> selling high with a low risk sell a bearish bar to sell from and potentially looking at the previous week's low as a first target and and then possibly trailing that market down as it went down towards previous lows um, so be aware of the initial balance look for the out of balance days as the highest probability for either continuations or reversals um, and if you're not sure if you want to read more of that get Dalton's book market profile uh, excellent information on time price opportunities so again we see the market go out of balance long down here and also closed above the high of this wick the market pulled back so even if you weren't sure you don't want to chase the trade uh, if you're not willing to take that risk on board and the market pulls back I'd be looking to take a, a line underneath of that around that pullback and, and identify an area where bears potentially now have reversed and become bulls because again this is a breakout that's out of balance the market is still searching for value on that second day after the breakout it's possibly a low risk opportunity to position yourself and be looking to where the market may retest a previous breakout level so again not looking to chase out of out of balance candles we're looking for that first candle so for example this is the second follow through we'd be looking for some indication of follow through where we've got the measured move here but again we're looking for that first breakout after uh, a string of bear bars or a string of bull bars so last week we saw that um, on the Tuesday the market broke out on the Wednesday it broke back inside again you have a opportunity to sell with a bearish candle and at a minimum be looking at reversing the low for the week where the market has started out which it did it traded to one side and then broke through and auctioned its way lower to the other side so roughly a one-to-one -one risk reward there but a, but a high probability opportunity so you know uh, you can apply this to any any currency pair do your own homework Monday to Friday look at your own setups uh, and my, a lot of my end-of-day trading is based on the opening range and looking for markets that are um, either already out of balance consolidating and looking for uh, continuations or uh, they've done a two or three leg move and now we're looking at a reversal or a uh, breakout in the opposite direction so just to give you a little here's the Canadian dollar um, last week and beginning of the month we saw a inside bar sorry not an inside bar but a um, topping pattern present uh, traders who were aggressively looking to get in early again you're still only risking that one bar uh, but we had a breakout traders who followed that breakout so the question is is the market broke out long we well, can see now in retrospect we had a two leg moved when the market broke out on this particular day are we seeing a pullback or are we seeing a um, breakout now the first thing that I would be looking to try to establish number one is where did the market break out from okay because we know that gaps get filled so in this particular case I would be looking at this distance as a minimum possible movement and then after 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 that where are these stops of that bull candle placed so the market um, we don't know if that's going to follow through all the way but we can tell that once we're in this trade for example by this next day this is a market that you'd want to go to break even at so again even if you measure that distance and take keep your stop at at a maximum equal to that distance that your your first target is going to be and then once it closes below that level feel confident to go to break even and actually stay in that trade as the market should 
Uh, if it's going to continue down, stay underneath of that level. But again, if you follow this through, you can see where, where candles go out of balance. There are high probability opportunities for the market to be reversing. And again, uh, this big spike move up, retesting the low of the high period. Um, but again, just go back, start drawing your breakout candles, uh, looking at old highs and lows. Uh, looking for markets that are turning and then breaking out again. Look where gaps can get filled. Um, keep it simple, traders. There's no, uh, you know, secret sauce here. You can see again as well that um, with any of these trades, you know, whether it's whatever currency or even on an index, this is the SPY 200. So we had our opening range. Uh, we had a market breakout prior to the end of the month. So possibly a futures expiry maybe on a contract um, but then we had consolidation so we've got our, our opening range in that first um, couple days but then we also uh, last Thursday had a breakout bar so traders who position themselves um, off of the breakout on Thursday if they weren't already in the market here somewhere again you know the market's broken out if this is a marginal breakout or a false breakout, this market should reverse quickly. It didn't do that. We have a um, uh, probably what Al Brooks calls an H2 type pattern setup, and the market did one bear flag, took out the high with a bull candle, another um, doji, and then another high taken out with the second one. Thursday it broke out short. Position traders were able to uh, breakout traders were able to take that trade. Um, with a one candle stop and that market still continues today to be auctioning lower so uh, going back to the previous month we see a breakout so again um, we had a big bull run up so again we'd be looking at a possible pullback on this first leg so we see the market uh, where the inside candle bulls got back into the market but they ran into a little bit of resistance uh, up towards the previous months high it didn't quite get there it broke out again off the high traders were able to possibly position themselves in that first leg down and we had a second leg down and now a third leg and I would suspect we may see uh, possibly five at least because uh, this market isn't going to reverse uh, immediately without doing a bit more damage so hopefully this helps traders start uh, looking for out of balance days those are high probability days for the market to be seeking value and um, again for more clarity on this get Dalton's book on market profile Dalton and Dalton uh, just google it I'll put the link below this video uh, keep it simple traders uh, study price action uh, understand time relevance to the market and uh, Monday to Friday and at the ends and beginnings of the month and may the markets go with you stay disciplined stay focused and uh, have a great trading day Thanks, traders. Hi, traders. It's Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. If you haven't done so, please head over to my website at stacyburketrading.com. I create updates on almost a daily basis, and I would love for you to receive them. Just click on the blog. If you want to enter your name and your email address, I'll send you my free audio program, The 7-Step Daily Routine for High Performance Traders. This is essential knowledge for all traders in all markets. And this is for helping traders to master the market with discipline, confidence, and a winning mindset. I appreciate all your feedback and comments. As always, traders, stay disciplined and may the markets go with you.